the Competent Communication Handbook. Uh, the title is Balancing Your Life and Living Your Dreams. Your timing is five to seven minutes. Diane Cochran. exists when there's a disparity between our daily existence, our routines and habits, and the dreams that lie deep within us. In Wayne Dreyer's book, How to Create a Balance Between Dreams and Habits, he says buried within all of us is an unlimited capacity for creativity and filling our dreams and our destiny. We all need to tend to that burning fire deep within us and balance our lives. When our dreams are not fulfilled, we feel deep inside our way of life, our reasons for living are out of balance. Our work, where we live, the people we associate with, the conversations we participate in are no longer gratifying to us. They no longer mesh with who we imagine to be. Our thoughts, our mental energy, are very important to harmonizing your desires. Mental energy attracts what you think about. Frustration, thoughts, asking the universe. If you're frustrated, all you're going to get is more glue to keep you stuck in that place. The most important tool to being in balance is recognizing that you're out of balance. And, your, and with your dreams and the life that you wish for. Our daily habits further take away from our dreams. Our mental energy can send messages to the universe and make us closer to our dreams. Life has its limits, but imagination has no boundaries. Imagination creates those seedlings for reality in the future and a life in more imbalance with who we really are. Well, how do you restore your balance between your dreams and your habits? You recognize the thoughts that you're in the habit of thinking and then shift those thoughts to be more in line with your dreams. Once aware of dreams that you'd like to be fulfilled, think positively of how to fulfill them rather than how impossible they are to fulfill. Positive thinking sends a message to the universe, and you get what you want. This may not happen overnight. And thinking in a positive manner helps that your dreams may be fulfilled. At this point, many of you are thinking, how can I possibly fulfill my dreams? And perhaps one of those dreams is a fantasy job or a new career. By a show of hands, how many of you heard, just take the leap and the universe will provide? Anybody? Or the Nike phrase, just do it. Eric Isle writes in the Huffington Post an article, How to Keep Your Dreams in Your Day Job. So if you are thinking this might be a good time to quit your job and start a new business or take that rock band on tour, many people have found financial ruin by doing just that. So how can you bring, keep your day job without killing your dream? Connect the dots between your job and your dream. Use the skills that you've learned during your day job, your marketing skills, or networking, meet, meeting interesting people, and learning how to solve difficult problems. If you're lucky enough to have a job that requires little energy, use that time and energy to pursue your dream. However, you need to be practical. Take advantage of your job benefits, your health insurance, 
Tuition reimbursement and other training will lead to new knowledge, skills, and credentials. Pay time off. You can use that time to pursue your new business. Let your head rule your heart. Dreams do not have a safety net, stability that a good job offers. Take a smart approach when pursuing your passions. Do what you love and love what you do. Kirk Donegan says, we are what we pretend to be. We must be careful what we pretend to be. Thank you.